Hey, welcome back to the Engineer Channel. Today I'm in Seville, Spain, and we're talking electric scooters. So come on back and let's look at something new that we don't get to see at home, the Seat Mo. So this is the 2021 Seat Mo electric scooter. I'm at an event here in Seville, Spain that they're giving free test rides on these. So I thought, well, what the heck, let's make a video. I don't know if you'll ever see one of these in the States or not, I don't know. But uh, this is an electric scooter. It's called a 125, a Seat Mo 125, which I assume is about equivalent to a 125cc um, gasoline engine. These are pretty pretty unique little bikes. That they have a, they they run a hub motor, so the motor is in the rear wheel. Seven kilowatts uh, of power, which is about 9.3 horsepower, and that's about my little Honda Monkey 125 makes about nine horsepower. Uh, single single uh, sprung uh, rear end, uh, one side swing arm. And then the cool thing about these is the battery on these guys, which is supposed to last for about 80 miles, 85 miles, uh, is here on the side. You can see the battery here, and you can pull this out and then hot swap these batteries. Right, well, let me show you how, you how you pull the battery out of this bike. It's kind of interesting. So here's the battery. It's taking the, you have to put a key in back here to release uh, this little peg and then they Okay. Later. Ah, switch under the seat. <laughs> and then you can hot swap the battery, the whole entire battery pack. Okay, that is pretty cool. And then off you go to go charge your extra battery at the house. How's that? To reinstall the battery, you just roll it up. It feels like, I, I tried to lift it, it's pretty heavy. It feels like about 30 kilos, which is about 60 pounds, 70 pounds. Slide it in, push it down, insert your little lock pin back there, get a little dust cover. And then put your helmets back in. <laughs> now you're ready to go. Now one thing they couldn't tell me is they didn't know exactly how much one of those extra batteries cost. But I'm assuming they're pretty pricey. If you wanted to have an extra one at the house so you could hot swap that. It takes six to eight hours to charge the battery. There's no fast charging that I'm aware of on these. Pretty simple instrument cluster. You've got a percentage of battery. You've got your speedometer there, uh, and that's and you've got a trip odometer, and that's about it. So over here, you do have um, your blinker, high beam, low beam, and a horn, and then um, you've got some mode buttons on this side as well as some uh, driving lights. Now, one thing that is interesting about these bikes is they do have a reverse. So in order to go in reverse, you can see the uh, this little green button here. You'll push this and then you can back up very slowly out of a parking space, which is kind of handy for uh, backing your scooter up. These also come with a smartphone holder up here that you can put your, your phone in. And uh, I bet I could get my iPhone Max in that holder but I, I don't know if I could get it in there with huh, my big OtterBox case on it. There's your key on off switch and then of course down here you've got a little you've got a, pur <laughs> a purse latch here so you can put your purse on there right hang it on there or if you're going to the store and get some groceries you can put your groceries on there kind of a handy thing uh, if you're using this for commuting around town and then there's a lot of storage under the seat this one of course has has two helmets under the seat. The seat is open by taking this key and turning it, and then that releases your seat latch, and that then you can open and get into the seat. So 
So here's uh, under the seat shot, and you've got room for two, two helmets, two pretty big helmets. Under the seat, you've got your fuse panel there, and then your your uh, underneath that, you've got your um, battery release lever. So I'm just sitting on this bike, and, it, and the seat is definitely very, 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 very firm. It's not like a good squishy Honda seat. It's very firm. You sit up very tall on the bike, very high up, and uh, it has the world's smallest windshield. Here's the on. front windshield in relation to my hand. It's about half the height of my hand, so it's quite a short windshield. Uh, it does have uh, driving modes on it here. You can see you can push this mode button here. So you can see here it has a city driving mode, and then a sport mode, and then finally uh, there's an eco mode. So and that that depends that, that that opens up the sport mode opens it up to full power, which is a uh, Apparently nine kilowatts, but it kills your battery really fast. These bikes have disc brakes up front as well as a disc brake in the rear. You can see down there. Uh, and it also uses regenerative braking as well. You've got flip out foot pegs for your passenger. Uh, and they do have a uh, a back box that you can put on a lockable box, kind of like a shed um, trunk carrier on them that you can add. The uh, lights are really sleek. And then on this side, you have a port down here on the bottom right here. And this port is where you would plug in your battery. But you can see from that plug that that's your standard D-type plug, that that is not set up for uh, fast charging, which may be a little bit of a drawback on this. So if you could afford to have a spare battery, that would be good. Uh, the front end is really upright. The whole bike is really upright, but I do like the two-tone seat. It's got the darker, the black here with the uh, gray on the back. And then the sporty um, orange stripes are very nice for a couple of reasons. Number one, it looks cool, but number two, it's day glow orange. I don't know if it shows up on the video, but it is day glow like electric reflective neon orange, which just gives you a little more visibility on the road. The people in the cars that are trying to kill us on motorcycles, y'all know who you are. So the Seat Mo has a top speed of around 60 miles per hour, 59, and a, um, an acceleration they claim uh, zero to 30 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds so not lightning fast but you know it's respectable again i think it's the per same performance as like a 125 cc scooter um, that we would be used to riding so would you go buy an electric scooter these are 4150 euros okay which it right now today 2021, this is June 2021. It takes a dollar and 25 US to buy a Euro. So one of these bikes in US dollars is gonna be what, about uh, uh, $5,5100 plus tax. So, but again, I don't know if these will ever make it to the States. These are Spanish made by Seat. Here's the uh, logo for Seat. You'll see this on many cars here in Spain. That's the Seat logo. So Seat has said, with their insurance the way it is right now, they can't be letting an Americano get on one of these and ride it. So I'm gonna give you a few shots of one of my Spanish friends here uh, riding the bike. Let's see what it looks like, see what he thinks. Okay, turn of events. He said, if I go with you, you can ride. So he's gonna ride on there with me. We'll see what we can do. How do I look here? Okay, we're gonna ride and he's gonna tell me left and right and which way to go and we're gonna go for a little burn. And then I'll tell you what I think, what I think about the Seat scooter. Okay, so we're back from our ride. Thank goodness my amigo let me go with him and he let me drive and uh, he rode and told me left and right. He spoken in English, so we made it back. Final thoughts are here is number one, the seat is this hard. It's not that super comfortable, but however, Man, this thing has got lots of power. We drove it in city mode and then we switched it over to sport mode and we got it on a 50 mile an hour road and, and really zipped around with two people on it. 
Man, it's as, it's at least as fast as my little 125 monkey. And so, uh, would I get one of these for the city? Yeah, absolutely. Super quiet, super easy to use. <laughs> There's my passenger guy. And so, uh, the other thing about this is that these bikes, the, the Seat is, they're very, the parts on it are very high, high quality. Um, you know, a lot of those, the, like they had a zero motorcycle, electric motorcycle, the parts are flimsy and chinchy and, you know, they break easy. These, this is by, this is made out of quality parts. This is a great little electric scooter. So, and I really love the idea of being able to hot swap that battery. That is super cool. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Seat 125. We may never see it in the States, but you know, that's what the other side of the world is doing. A lot of electric motorcycles or scooters here in Spain. And so uh, I got to ride one and I'm impressed. It's it's a fast little bike. And so uh, even with two two big lads on there, there's my there's my guy right there. You see, <laughs> that's him right there. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining us here on the Engineer Channel and uh, we'll see you next time.